The Global Peace Foundation Nigeria GPFN has called on religious leaders to reject hate speech, intolerance and extremism, stressing that wide reaching a negative impact on society. This appeal was made during a one-day peace engagement with senior Christians and Muslim leaders in Kaduna aimed at addressing religious, political and tribal divides in the state. The keynote speaker, Professor Ruben Choba, emphasized the need to live in peace with one another, irrespective of tribal or religious affiliations. He urged faith leaders to preach peace and resolve conflicts without violence. C GPFN Country Director Reverend Dr. Joseph Hayab emphasized the power of faith leaders in promoting peace and called for the united efforts to combat violence in the society. Peace is something that we do. Violence is also something that we do. Violence is not something that happens to us. It's something that we create. That's what religious leaders should do. Too quick to teach. Let's teach our people in churches. Let's teach our people in the most that every issue, every issue can be resolved without violence. You must represent Islam. You must represent Christianity to its core value. No responsible faith leader that will contribute to violence. We don't need anybody to tell us how to live right. We are the leaders that should teach people and help people to live right. Giving back to young children who do not see how anybody was ever key. That's simply what we have called you to challenge you. There was success yesterday. Move on like that. We will change the story of Kaduna City. If we move on like that, we will pass a better legacy for Kaduna young people. If we move on like that, posterity will judge us well. Religious leaders reaffirmed their commitment to peace, calling on the government to include religious education in all schools' curricula, both public and private. Those who used to have the idea of not even giving our children the opportunity to learn Islam and Christianity from government school, they, they only give bad names to the religion. I advise the government at all levels to try as much as much as possible to respect this uh, religious knowledge in the in, in the school. If it's not in the curriculum, they should return it. Because I know there are over zealous leaders against the faith of Islam and against the Christianity. This meeting is very important because uh, leaders of the two faiths that are prominent in Nigeria have been brought together so that they will share ideas as to how to better improve our relationship. Every time we bring our differences together and harmonize them, the better for us because it strengthens our relationship. I'm learning something new about the Islamic approach towards peaceful coexistence uh, so that we will uh, better understand ourselves and better relate to people. Of how these people has called religious leaders to give their own contribution or how the country will live in peaceful. We understand much of it. And Kuma, inshallah, to be benefit to all Muslims and Christians in the country. And this will lead to the good coexistence, peace coexistence of our society, of both Muslims and Christians in the country. I'm very happy. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.